Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another weekend recipe with cooking with TJ Today I'm going to be making a Nando's full chicken not just one but two Let's get through to the recipe And on that note before you watch the video please don't forget to smash that subscribe button And turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my content Okay then so we're just going to go through all of the ingredients I've got Two medium sized chickens here and you see it's got the skin on there as well so the skin's on. I've got freshly cut coriander, I've got four tablespoons of paprika and I've also got some Nando's peri peri rub, some oregano, oregano sorry, and some Nando's vegan peri nays. Well that's that's quite clever to name it peri nays, yeah but it's peri peri version of mayonnaise. Yeah we've got that. We've got some Nando's peri peri marinade medium we've got some nando's peri peri marinade lemon and herb and we've got some olive oil so yes guys this is absolutely everything that we're going to be using to make the nando's whole chicken now it's time to make the marination so i'm going to start off by putting in some nando's peri peri marinade so i'm going to add this in however guys just to make you aware because we're making two medium sized whole chickens I'm going to double up the quantity that I'm using. So I'm going to add in 16 tablespoons of marinade, um, Nando's peri peri marinade. If you're making one, you can just add in t 8 tablespoons. Okay, guys. So I'm going to do the quantity that I'm going to use. It's going to be double for two chickens rather than the one. So let's put in 16 tablespoons. So that's one. That's two. So guys, I've added in 16 tablespoons of the Nando's medium marinade. So that's done. Now I'm going to add in 16 tablespoons of the Peri Peri marinade. This one here. So let's start with that. Okay, Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim So that's one, two, three... Okay guys, so I've added in 16 tablespoons of the peri peri lemon and herb marinade so i'll put that in i'm just going to give this a mix so it's well combined so just mix this that's nicely done now just need to add in the next part it's time to add in some of the Nando's peri peri rub and that's medium as well. So we're gonna add in four teaspoons this time, not 16 tablespoons. So yeah, so we're gonna add in four teaspoons. So just add that in. Bismillah uh, That's one, and two, three, and one last one, that's four. And just give that a mix. Okay, so just mix that well. Right guys, so it's now it's time to add in a bit of oregano. So I'm just going to add a little bit, a little bit of that in there. And that should be okay. It's us approximately just say about two teaspoons. So add that in there. Then we're going to add in the four teaspoons of paprika. So I'm going to add that in there as well. I know this might look a lot guys, but bearing in mind it's for two chickens, it's not just for the one chicken. But if it's for one chicken, the amounts I'm using now would be halved. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to add in the freshly cut coriander. And that's probably like one cup. So add that in. And I think... Oops. Lastly, what we need to do is we need to add in some olive oil. So I'm just going to get to that now. Okay guys, so we're going to add in 4 tablespoons of olive oil. That's one, two, three, and one. That's one. And 4. Now it's just time to give this a nice mix. Honestly, you smell that. It smells really nice. It actually smells like Nando's. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's mix it until it's well, well mixed. And then we can apply it to the chicken. Right. 
Guys, I need to include this in there as well. So the Nando's Peri Peri mayonnaise. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of that in there. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> I need to open it. What do you want that? Okay, so let's try it again now. There you go, that worked. So two tablespoons of that. There you go. Hit that in there and then give that a nice stir so it's well mixed. And then it's time to work on the chicken. Time to work on the chicken. So what we're gonna do is, as you see the chicken, it's, it's flat out. You can see that this is completely flat out. All right guys, so yeah, that's, this is the chicken. So we flattened the out. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to poke holes into it. The reason why I say this is because when we apply the marination to it and you leave it overnight, then what would happen is the marination would sink into the actual chicken and it sinks in and then as soon as you, well, as soon as it's ready for tomorrow, then what you can do is you just put it into the oven and let it cook and you'll taste the flavor much better. Whereas if you leave it for a couple of hours, marination might not sink in that much. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's start poking the chicken. So poke a few holes in there and continue poking it until you've got a few holes in it. And then I'm gonna add in, actually, yeah, I think it'll, it'll be better if I add in one chicken and then I'll add in the marination. Yeah, so just pour that in slowly. Bismillah rahman rahim Yeah. So it's poured in. Actually, I'll pour it. I'll pour it all in, and then I'll add in the second chicken and coat it or mix it until the chicken's well coated. So now guys, just mix the chicken into the marination. So mix it, ensure that the chicken's well coated with the marination. Obviously before you start mixing, make sure you wash your hands or if you want to wear gloves or if you want to use a brush to marinate the chicken, you can do that, it's entirely up to you. I'm kind of old fashioned, so not, not old fashioned, I'm saying it like I'm 60, 70 years old, but no, I'm, um, I like to do it the old fashioned way. So just use my hands and marinate it well because i think it's best to just add them both in at once well the first one's been put in and now it's just a matter of getting the marination onto the second chicken so as i'm doing now as you can see it's the same procedure as the first one grab get the marinade marination from the bottom and just massage it in until the chicken's well coated and then it's time to just leave it overnight or a couple of hours whatever you prefer but me personally, I prefer it overnight. So the marination sinks in completely and then it's ready to be put into the oven tomorrow. And so I'm gonna add in some kitchen for you. So half on the side and half on the other side. Now that I've added the foil in to the way I wanted it, now it's time to add in the, um, the chicken. Okay, I'm going to add the chicken in like this. Onto this side, and then the other one, to be honest. So I'm going to nice, evenly spread it out. What you can also do here is, um, you can, there's some marination left over. As you can see here, some, I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but there's some left over. What I'm going to do is, this marination has been added onto the chicken, so I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm going to place the lid on, on medium to low heat, and let it cook for an hour. After it cooks a bit, I'm going to turn it over, I'm going to apply more marinade on there, and then continue turning it over until the marination is completely finished, and then the end product should be... So guys, it's been in the roaster for an hour now. And you can see that the chicken oh, smells really, really delicious. Um, what I really want with this chicken is I want it to have that reddish grill type of colour. And yeah, I just want it to have that type of structure. So what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this in here for another 10 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. I'm going to leave that until it's really warm. Then I'm going to take the chicken out 
add it into a tray and then put it in the oven for another half an hour to 45 minutes on slow cook so it cooks nicely good sign I'm gonna add this into the tray here just like that so it's come around here and you see it how it looks so that's the chicken now the chicken is so tender oh my god look at that it looks so nice Continue applying it to the top, make sure all parts of the chicken are covered nicely and then what we can do is we can just add it, might put it into the oven. Um, we've now made the chicken and we've taken it out of the oven after 30 minutes and I'm just going to pour it into this plate here. Would you have a look at that chicken? It looks amazing, check that out. And I'm going to take out the other part of the chicken as well. See, because of the tenderness of the chicken, this side, the chicken obviously uh, broke. So I'm just going to place the chicken pieces to the sides of the dish like this. And there you have it guys, that's, that's more or less your um, Nando's full chicken. Very easy recipe to follow. The, the, the meat on the chicken is just really juicy. And then after that, I preheated the oven and put it in uh, 180 degrees for another 30 minutes and you can see the texture here it's become nice and it's given it's, it's given us that reddish texture which is what we want so yeah guys that's it that's that's the final product have a look at that it looks amazing I can't wait to try it out there you have it guys a full nando style chicken recipe you telling me that was not easy to follow that was super easy guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe share it with your friends and hopefully i'll see you guys all next week assalamu alaikum